Okay, we have to play it windowed then. Well, that's a shame. Okay, well... I'll have to go over the same spiel that I did when I started it before all these technical problems happened, but... Hi, my name's Hannah. I wanted this channel to take more of a gaming um, route, but I've never felt motivated to do so, and I've never found the right game to start with, um, but I definitely wanted to start with this one. This is a game that I love, always will. Um, it freaks me out even still, though I've played it over 10 times. I know the ins and outs of it, and I'm, I hope I do, actually. <laughs> um, I don't want to say that and then not know a lot about the mini games or anything. So I'm actually playing this window because OBS is a dickhead and wouldn't let me do full screen. Okay, so we're a new game. Um, I, uh, I don't know. I've never played Master on any of the Nancy Drew games. Fuck it, let's go Master. We're gonna do it. <laughs> oh, whoops. Uh, what time is it? Late. Savannah? Is that you? What's wrong? I got a case for you. Can it wait until later? I'm sorry, it can't. There's been a kidnapping. A girl, just a little older than you. <sighs> Shouldn't the police be taking care of this? There's only so much they can do, and she needs to be found before something bad happens. What do you mean? The call came in for me, but I can't go. Thornton Hall is a dangerous place for people like me. Ghost hunters, you mean? So people think it's haunted? Mm-mm. They know. Jessalyn needs someone who ain't afraid to run after her. That ain't me. What I'm asking of you is dangerous. After everything you did for me in Japan, I'll do it. Thank you. Drive to the airport now. I'll arrange a ticket. And Nancy, I didn't call you just because you're a good detective. I called you because you're a skeptic. Thornton Hall is no place for anyone who believes. Well, then you called the right detective. I'm serious. You think long and hard about that before you get on that plane. If what you find on the island is going to get to you, don't go. Stay home. Don't worry. I'm on the case. You sure about this? Oh, I am. Watch yourself around the Thorntons. They earn their bad reputation. Well, thanks for being concerned. I should be okay. Well, it depends who's here. Hope for your sake Wade's not skulking around. Or that loony bin reject, Harper. But it's Charlotte you best watch for. Black Rock Island belongs to her now. Has ever since the night the fire took her. Take care now. Hey, thank you, mysterious ferryman. <coughs> okay, let's get this. Well, I should probably... <laughs> should I pretend that I don't know what's happening? Or should I just fucking speedrun this? <laughs> okay, so... Scavenger list 21. Items to search and find. Okay, so they found... Oh, they, they landed on the island. They got a photo of the house. They haven't spotted a bat. They found... I can't remember her name's portrait. They tracked down Charlotte's statue. They didn't find a broken full window. Uh, took a picture of the entrance to the ruins. Found a bag of cotton. Found a key to Charlotte's bedroom. The gravestone thing, which is what I'm gonna have to do later. They've seen a ghost. Nice. And then all this other stuff that happened. See the spider, yep. Okay, well, let's go talk to Wade. Hey! <gasps> hey! <laughs> You're not Savannah. No, but you must be Wade. Is she with you? Are you the new assistant? What's his name, get canned or something? Logan? I don't know. All I know is that she thought I'd be the right person for the case. She's not coming. What did you just say? She said she was sorry to send me, Shay, but nothing could get her to come here. I never took her for a coward. Well, she seemed pretty scared of the ghosts. Ghosts? No, that ain't it. She's scared of seeing me. All right then, Wade. I hope Savannah understands the mess she dropped you in. What kind of mess? Take a look around and then you tell me. Who's more welcome here? The living or the dead? Anyway, Savannah had a package sent. 
I guess it must be for you. It's up in the house. Who else is here? Clara. That's Jesselyn's mother. Clara, that's Colton, the mother. her fiance. Anyone else? Depends what you mean by anyone. Any other alive or verifiably real people? No. Do you know Savannah? I did, Nancy once. Before. And now? And now I don't. How did you meet Savannah? We went to the same bookstore. You don't seem like the type. I'll take that as a compliment and an insult. <laughs> How long ago was this? A while. Gone now. It was a little old dark place. Carried these musty old books. Stuff that didn't exist anywhere else. Mr. Goldberg, what then, kind of stuff? All sorts. But I was there researching our family. Savannah had this way of reading. Like there was something she needed to know real bad. One day I finally asked, What is it you need to know so bad? You know what she said? What? Nothing. She handed over the book she was reading and walked out. At first, I'm feeling a touch rejected. But then I look at the book. What was the book? That was the crazy thing. It was the Thornton family book of names. Births, deaths, marriage, and so on, going way back. Why would she have that? Why, indeed. I had to know. Took me some doing, but I tracked her down. So you met Savannah because she was trying to find Charlotte's ghost? One of those people who met her was Savannah. Ask her. And maybe she'll tell you about it. After that, she became obsessed with Thornton Hall. Give me a second, I'm just gonna tap out of the game. Wait, oh, I can stretch it! Oh, that's so awesome! Okay, thank you, game. We got to know each other. I fell for her like a Black Tuesday banker. In the end, the landing was just as rough. You said you were researching the family. Why? After Charlotte died, that's when something I always knew came out shining so bright, I finally had to admit it. Long as it's been growing, the Thornton family tree's been split down the middle. The evil roots always trying to strangle out the good. I used to think I was on the side of good. And now? What do you think? I think you are. Don't be so sure. Yeah. What did you mean about the family being split in two? You wouldn't know by looking around here, seeing the state we're in, but we're loaded. What's that have to do with anything? The Thornton family bought its money with blood, and not always our own. And you think one part of the family had more to do with this than the other? I don't speak ill of the dead, especially not when they're staring up at the soles of my boots. Look around. You'll see. See you later. Later. Okay, we're probably gonna spend a lot of time in here, so we're just gonna head back a bit. Okay, we'll start over here. No need to jump, just me. Can you tell me about some of these stones? I'll tell you what I can. But sometimes it's best to just look and listen. Beauregard Thornton, mean old codger. Sarah Emma Thornton, 1842 to 1887. Makes you find her voice once more. We got Charlotte. That's Charlotte. Dear sweet Charlotte, please come back. That's a sad inscription. It was a sad time. None of us wanted to see her leave. We didn't expect it to become what it's become. This blank one is my favorite. Why is that? Well, who doesn't want a celebrity in the family? Especially one that rubs all the wrong people the wrong way. The Grey Lady. In the Civil War, they say she was a spy, passing codes for the North. If you look, you can find some of her contraptions here. Her service gave the Thornton family this land. All right. Harper Stone. Harper? Indeed. She ran away shortly after Charlotte died. Long enough that we thought we'd lost her too. One day she walked in the front door looking wild and thin as a spring sapling. Never said where she was. 
Her granddaddy was so mad he left the stone to remind her of what she'd put them through. She'd sit out there and read. Don't know if it was spite or if it made her feel at home. Knowing her, probably both. Yeah, there's a lot of gravestones. That there is Clara's mother. What can you tell me about her? Not a great deal. She loved her secrets. Never even told Clara who her daddy was. Why not? Don't know. When Clara was about ten, Rosalie got real sick. Every day Clara would ask about her daddy. I think she was afraid of being left to fend for herself. But Rosalie wouldn't say. Hmm. Virginia, my mother. Rest her soul. Can you tell me anything about her? Just that I miss her, and I always will. Luther, my daddy. Mama called him the king of slamming doors. He had a hot temper, but a soft heart, and no mind for business. He was an intuitive. He brought me out here to the stones at night. Taught me how to open my eyes, shut up, and listen. You rest well, Daddy. Hmm. Thornton Cemetery, estimated 1866. This plaque honors those who found their final rest beyond the family ground, including Franklin Thornton. Birth date, May 4th, 1895, and death date, October 25th, 1917. I made it through. Defending His Nation, dedicated January 15th, 1918. Roger and Marie. Side by side from the day they married to the day they died. Both real sweet. Charlotte and Harper's parents. My dog's May they rest in peace. It's locked. It's locked. Yes, it is, Nancy. Okay. Let's go. We're gonna get into so many goddamn conversations. Jessalyn? Excuse me? Sorry. Of course you're not. I'm just tired. No, don't be. I'm Nancy. You're here to help? Savannah Woodham called me in. She seems to think there's a supernatural explanation to Jessalyn's disappearance. <sighs> a couple of days back, that would have earned an eye roll. I'm Colton, the fiancé. Welcome to Thornton Hall. I'd extend you all the courtesies of the Thornton clan, but we seem to be about 20 years too late for that. <laughs> you might need this. I found it in the house. Is this Jessalyn's? Yeah. It's dead, though. And the charger got mangled by something. Maybe you could channel all that inquisitive energy into seeing if you can get that old phone back up and running. Were you and Jessalyn getting married soon? Yes. Any chance this is just pre-wedding jitters? She might have had second thoughts about the wedding. Trust me, everyone does. But she never let anyone worry about her like this. She loved her family more than anything. Is it safe to assume you had second thoughts about the wedding? I never said that. True, but you implied it. You said, trust me, everyone does. I know. I remember it like it was just moments ago. <laughs> Definitely. I'd better get going. Later. I just turned down the game in case it wasn't letting me. Okay, I don't want to talk to Clara right now. Let's just do shit. Hmm. Oh. This looks like a painting. I should find somewhere to place it. Didn't sound good. Oh. 
Oh, let's put the painting up. <laughs> it looks like the painting is missing. I'm not gonna read all this. You guys can pause if you're interested in reading. I spent a lot of time reading those books, everything. I'm not gonna do it again. Alright. Um, oh yeah. What was that? I don't know. What was that? I'm so fucking annoying. <laughs> I'll stop. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna talk to Clara yet. I don't want to talk to Clara. Please don't make me... Okay. I already have one. I miss some tea. <coughs> Nom. Okay. Um, fine. You must Clara. be Nancy. Yes, you must be Clara, Jessalyn's mother. Yes. I want you to know that I'm yes. here to help you with anything you need. That's real sweet, hon. I know you may not want me here since you didn't actually call me yourself. So long as me find Jessalyn, you're welcome under what's left of my roof here. Is there anything else I should know that might help me find Jessalyn? Yeah. Keep a suspicious eye on Wade. Wade well, didn't seem all that dangerous to me. He neglected to tell you about his time spent in jail, I see. <gasps> As a matter of fact, <laughs> Wade's a nice guy when he wants to be. And only when he wants to be. I'm happy we have another set of eyes looking for Jesse, but I do hope you know what you're getting yourself into. Who did Jessalyn come here with? Addison. I tried talking to her, but she was a wreck. Here. She'll have calmed down a bit by now. I hope. What do you think happened to Jessalyn? You wouldn't know by the look of this dump, but we're worth a great deal of money. Well, that's what I thought this was. But then, no, no. Not yet, at least. I, I can't believe I'm praying for a ransom note to show up. It's like someone's trying to punish us. Well, why do you say that? Thornton Hall was once something truly beautiful. But so much greed and tragedy built up in these walls that when they started to crumble, I wanted to save this place, make it mine. But I couldn't. So whoever took Jessie wanted us to sit here in this broken down old house waiting for her. I saw something really strange. I did too. What do you think that was? Excuse me, I need to be alone. Thank God. Because I've got shit to do, woman. Oh. What's that smudge? It almost looks like something was painted over. Hmm. There's something back there. What is that? Are those graves? Okay, let's go downstairs and put the phone on charge. Oh, fuck, I clicked off. It's so annoying playing in windowed mode. Oh, I should probably read the thing first. I don't remember if that triggers it. Think like how high size things. Time to recharge the battery. All right, let's see if all those oranges did the trick. I don't think we need to... Yeah, we don't need to do that yet. Is there a 
smudge in this guy? I don't think so. There's a smudge. Okay, I guess not. Uh. Haven't done that. Hear a ghost? Check it out. His fingernails have always disgusted me. From what I understand, the Thornton family business is very successful. <laughs> yep. We got money and all the trouble that buys. Do people really come here trying to meet Charlotte's ghost? Around the time Charlotte's ghost was driving the family away, the stories started to spread. Little kids around here started playing this game to scare themselves silly. They'd turn off the lights and say, Fire so red, night so black. Dear sweet Charlotte, please come back. Over and over again until they'd just about scare themselves to death. It was just a game, but that's when people started jumping the fence at night hoping to meet her saying that same silly rhyme. Most had just come and go in peace, but the ones who found her, it messed them up real good. A couple even went into shock. What do you think of Colton? I do not like that shifty little punk, but I have said that about all Jesse's boyfriends. With him, I mean it a little extra. Something's crooked with the two of them together. I don't know if she can see it or not. Is it true that you have a questionable past? You asking if I really went to jail? Yes. I advise against it. Well, why? It's not a fun place and they don't let you leave. No, I mean, why did you go to jail? I know what you meant. I took a tour of the seasons. My debt is paid, that's all. I'd really like to know. The nerve you got. I saw something I can't explain in the house. That's why you couldn't get me in there for nothing. I don't believe in ghosts, but... That don't stop you from feeling them. Would you believe my happiest memories live in that house? Christmases and long summer nights stargazing on the roof. Why aren't you in the house? I'm only on the island because Jessalyn's missing. Nothing's gonna get me in that house. What's Clara's relationship to the rest of the family? My cousin. Harper and Charlotte's cousin. She lived with the girls after her mama passed. Have you always been a ghost hunting enthusiast? I'm not exactly enthusiastic about the dead, no offense meant. But yes, I do find it interesting. Why? Life is a quest for truth, is it not? And death has a way of stripping away all pretensions. That's pretty philosophical for a guy wearing boots. You northerners don't have a lock on big thinkers. We got plenty. Like Roscoe J. Redbrook and the Gimble Tucky Boys. And I dare you to say their lyrics don't equal those of the Greek poets. And we got that old guy with the white suit and the chickens. Point is, I like ghosts because they show me what is, not what I want to see. And wearing boots don't make you stupid. Makes you smart, if it's muddy. <laughs> Do you have a key to the crypts? Sorry. Does anyone actually live here? No one lives out on the island, but just on the shore. Goodbye. Adios. Adios. <laughs> Alright, the... Turns out I am interested, looks like. What you need? I found a set of graves without names on the markers. That is where our troubles began. What happened? Most of the family would rather it never come up. Our first factory was right here on the island. At the time, it made us a lot of money. 
But along the way, we got greedy. Never built a place for the workers to stay. They'd bed down right on the processing floor. Nothing for heat in the winter, so the workers built fires inside. One winter, there was a wicked cold snap. They built a couple of extra big fires, and in the night, the fumes built up. None of them ever woke up again. Mm. That's when we split in two. Half saying this will never happen again, and half saying accidents happen. Grieve and move on. When did the factory accident happen? That was more than a hundred years ago, and we still can't move on. That's why this house still stands, I think. Until we Thorntons decide who we're gonna be, we're stuck on this island. You should see it on a summer day when the ocean and the sky are sharing the same blue and the grass is bright. But here it is, gray and dark, under all the misery we've heaped upon it. You don't seem like a bad guy. Can you tell me why you ended up in jail? You really want to know? I do. Then listen. I don't care if you believe me, but keep this to yourself. Okay. I wasn't close to the company then. Still ain't, but... I heard through a friend of the guy down the way. You know how it goes. I heard that our processing plant in town was up to its old tricks. Hiring people who couldn't afford to quit and treating them beyond bad. Locking them in to meet quotas and such. I asked Clara. She denied, naturally. But it made her so mad, I asked. I had to go check it out myself. I went in the middle of the night, and right away I saw it was true. The exit was padlocked, right in plain view of the world, and no one cared. I broke in. That's true. I was furious. I broke one of the big machines. That's true, too. So there it is. I stood up, and boy, did I get knocked down. You must be pretty mad at Clara. You don't even know the half of it. Goodbye. Bye. Hmm. Uh, I feel like we should probably call Addison. Hello? Addison? My name is Nancy Drew. I'm calling to see if you can help me with something. Is this about Jessalyn? Yes. I can't. I'm sorry. The sooner we can find out what happened to her, the better her chances of survival. Okay. I'll help with what I can. How's Jessalyn's relationship with Clara? Okay, maybe a little strained. How so? Jess used to call her Chairman Mom. Behind her back, of course. Do you think Clara could have anything to do with Jessalyn going missing? I don't think Jess was afraid of Clara. But still, I can't say for sure. What do you think of Colton? What's to think? He's always been decent to me and Jess. The bedroom key is crossed out in the scavenger hunt. Do you know where it is? No. Jessalyn must have found it, but I couldn't tell you where it is. Can you walk me through what happened the night Jessalyn went missing? She was about to get married, and I think the pressure of it was getting to her. It was supposed to be a night of blowing off some steam. Jess always loved a good scare. She used to make me sneak into scary movies with her when we were kids. So, in a weird way, spending the night searching for a ghost sort of made sense for a bachelorette party. At first, it was really fun. We were running around trying to scare ourselves silly. We were making these recordings like we were on a ghost hunter show. Then, things got strange. Is there anything you remember that might help me find Jessalyn? No. Actually, wait, hang on. Upstairs, uh, there was this door. Jess was desperate to get it open. Between you and me, I was relieved that she couldn't figure it out. Really? Why? I could feel eyes on me all night long. What were you doing at Thornton Hall that night? A scavenger hunt, but I don't know. There was something strange about it. In what way? Jess was looking for something toward the end of the night. Kind of desperately. It stopped being fun. That's all I know. 
How was Jessalyn acting that night? She was classic Jess for most of the night. Then something happened? Yeah. We were in the house and suddenly she just screams. And then she's nowhere to be found. What happened? I was alone in the house, jumping at every noise, too afraid to move. It felt like hours. Then she came back. She wouldn't say what had happened. She wouldn't even talk to me. She wanted to be left alone. She went downstairs and that was that. You said things got strange. What did you mean? It was her and me up in that freezing house and I remember thinking, I'll never get to sleep. But then I started to feel fuzzy. Fuzzy? Like I was underwater or something. And I noticed Jess was gone again. I wanted to get up and find her, but I, I couldn't move. It was like this invisible hand was pinning me down. I heard a strange voice. It wasn't Jess. Then it was the morning. I was alone and Jess was gone. You said you heard a voice. Charlotte. I'm sure of it. Did she say anything? She sang. I only heard a little bit. Would you consider yourself a believer in the paranormal? If you'd asked that last week, I would have made some crack about Bigfoot. And now? And now I'm going to say that I don't believe. Because I'm afraid if I let myself believe, I'll be opening a door that no one can close. Did you notice any secret passages or tunnels while you were at the house? No, but it was so drafty in there. It would surprise me if there weren't. See you later. Find Jess. All right. I reckon find Jess is the right way to end this first episode of Nessie Drew Ghost of Thornton Hall. I hope everyone's enjoyed. I have. Definitely. <laughs> it's great to play this game again. Even though I know everything, it still keeps me suspended. I don't know. It's just got that kind of feel. But I will definitely make a part two. And we'll just see this game on its way out. Alright, goodbye then. Bye. <laughs>